Hey guys, it's Maxi. I'm a Radiant player and back when I grinded, I had two accounts in the top 100 at the same time. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the thought process on how to carry and rank while playing Clove. This is a game where I go 24 and 16 on Lotus while playing Clove. I have plenty of crucial and clutch rounds, and I definitely think my utility usage carried this game. Starting off from my pistol round, I think the best way to go is to go for a ghost, a smoke, and a heal. Whenever I play Clove, I like hovering around the middle of the map just because you have a set range on how far you can smoke. So I always want to position myself in a way where I can be able to help my teammates. The enemy team end up showing early C presence, so after my chamber gets one and TP's out, I smoke the choke to either slow down the enemy team or stop them completely. Oh yeah. Oh, set, I can one way so you can be able to Spike planted. He was there. there. Reloading. We have, we have. Oh, yeah. oh what the <laughs> fuck? Oh, what did we make there? <laughs> of course I die, bro. This one way that I toss ended up being crucial in our sight hold. Since both of my teammates got stuck in waterfall like this, I toss a one way right here to give them cover to get out to defend the site a little bit better. The true value comes from the two picks that we got right here. Notice how far these two guys have to overextend to even fight us, and on top of that, they're dying completely untraded. So many times when attacking teams get control of sight, they can just sit here in this area and just pepper your teammates with off angles as they try to retake. This smoke essentially halves the sight and gives you guys space to be able to get closer and retake together from all sorts of different angles. And if they happen to plan for mound right here, this smoke pressures the enemy team. For the next round, I'm right towards the middle of the map yet again. Since they got the spike down, there's a small chance that they might force and buy and try to rush something together, so I'm ready to smoke and help whoever needs it. Toss a quick one way towards rubble right here to help my teammates in case they're fighting it, while just spotting B main for any sort of lurkers. What? No. What? My teammate gets absolutely destroyed on C, so I rush over to try to stop any sort of sight hit. Okay, 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 chef. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't scout. Target down. Just don't give him gun, don't give him gun. Club. Holding B main I'm gonna I'm go come back. run and get the gun. Luckily, my teammates corralled me back because I was ready for some action there. But we were in a 4v3 at the time, so me getting so close is definitely not the play. Yeah. There's no way I can find this. That can't be in Choke here, right? shit on me. B, 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 B. <laughs> okay, two. I want swing. I'm low. Push me, push me. One walk. Yeah, yeah. Shots. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. planted. Up there. In the next round, my teammate and I want to switch up the pace, so we decide on trying to contest rubble, but it doesn't really go our way. I made it through, I made it through, I made it through. We ended up taking an L this round, but it was technically our bonus, so no harm, no foul. In the last round, since they won C very convincingly, I'm leaning there to try to triple stack it as a gamble. Unfortunately, the other team go the complete opposite side. I toss a default defender smoke right here to help out my gecko, and while I'm getting closer, I toss a smoke right here to half the side again to try to take away vision and space from the attackers. Since close smokes are hollow, and since they pretty much took sight with pretty much 5 people alive, pretty much uninterrupted, they had enough leeway and time to get up close. I tossed my decay bomb in the smoke before following it and getting an easy fight on the clove. After that, it's just popping heads. Wait. In the next round, we try contesting C again, but we get absolutely demolished. We had the right read with bad execution, and sometimes that happens. In the next round, I head towards C again, because this is the only place that they're winning. We hear an early gecko flash, which is pretty much a tell that they're running here again. This time, I'm playing for a passive sight hold. I have my vulnerable, so as soon as I feel like they're about to hit, tossing it and fighting for my life. Oh, On the bright side, I got mine, and even better, I can still smoke and help my boys out as they try to retake. I toss the same exact one way smoke to give these guys space for them to retake. One way in. enemy Wait, what? Wingman's on defuse. Last player standing. I think he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Yeah, it's a glitch. His body's standing up. Yeah. His body's standing up in fucking waterfall. 
so weird. So since we finally stopped him from hitting C, I'm right back towards hovering around the middle of the map to try to smoke and help whoever needs it. I toss the same exact smokes from the round before since they worked. I just want to make sure I can deny as much space from the enemy team as I can. Spike planted. Close here. No, I Unfortunately, this is another round that turns into an L for us. For the next round, since my boys are struggling the whole day, I'm heading over to lend a helping hand and sturdy our defense. Because worst case scenario, that just means you have more people to retake the other site. That's what we tried doing here, but unfortunately, we just had bad guns since we were on a save. So we took another L. The next round, I'm heading towards A again because the last buy round, they took A pretty swiftly. Controller agents are usually really good at anchoring sites. Oh, okay, sir. So as soon as I feel like they're about to hit the site, I smoke tree and the choke over here to block them off. The tree one is especially strong because for all they know, there could be two dudes in here, one with a judge and stuff with a crazy crossfire. The fear of the unknown is enough to deter. I'm pretty much spotting it till I realize my boys are fighting on this other side, so I help out with a couple of nice shots. In the next round, since they just got shut down at A, now I'm heading over towards C in case they want to fall back to the old reliable. Since we don't have a hold it down type of sentinel like Cypher or Killjoy, I'm pretty much filling that role for all the sites where I think they're going to be. If you want to carry in rank, you can't be afraid to float and trust your gut on where you think they're going to be. If the job needs to be done right, do it yourself. He's one for you. So I end up choking the ace because I'm old, washed, and ugly. But it's all good though because I did enough for my team to close it out. They have full control of spike on site, so since I died close, I just keep smoking off the choke over and over to give them an extra boost in their crossfire. <laughs> Going back to the actual site hold though, notice how I did the same exact thing that I did from the round where I had a sheriff. I just wait for audio cues, molly, then I fight. Simple routine, but effective. You don't have to overcomplicate your sight holds. Just make sure you're not afraid to big wiener it. Then pushing through smokes leaves them completely vulnerable to a multitude of off angles. They're flying into the unknown. And since I know that Gecko uses his flash early in the round to take control of mound over here, I can just go wide and hold the smoke confidently and just pick him out the air without fear of a flash. We all know that Jet's dashed in their own smoke, so I ignore her for the time being and focus on the people following her up. After I take out the raise, I instantly crack my crosser in case she's trying to trade, but she's taking too long. Going to the next round, since we've been stumping their pushes on A and C finally, I hover back towards the middle of the map and not only to try to hold B, since I haven't tried that yet, but since I'm not entirely too sure what they're gonna plan actually, I just wanna be ready for anything. What's he again? I'm one way through. I'm gonna I'm vulnerable your right side. You can fight that. My turn! Wait, three me. Me too. You guys have to One's off for sure. They're, they're, they're both main. Main. No, they're both main. They both cross main. You guys have off both. Wait, I can smoke. Jeff flash. Jeff smoke. No PK. One oh. enemy remaining. My buddy. Last player standing. Smoke, smoke, smoke. Ah, you crazy. I almost forgot that I had smoke. Here's another showcase on why I really love the smoke. It essentially funnels the enemy team to the right side whenever they're trying to plant the spike. If I had gone to my chamber just a little bit quicker, we could have had a lethal crossfire. The next round they have a gecko ultimate, so they can pretty much go anywhere with that. So I keep hovering towards middle just to try to quick rotate and help wherever I need. Turns out these guys love C. Rotate, try to help, but I get caught with my pants down. It's all good though because my boy Mark, aka Cornball Ranger, has an absolute hero moment, and he deserves his shine. Oh, oh why did he the fucking fucking gecko? I care need oh, Can we just give it a second and then flood late? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> So you heard the plan. We're gonna let them burn through their resources, and when it quiets down, we're gonna flood them with ours. As we're going out, I'm planning on one way in rubble right here to try to help us fight it in case they're towards there. This is really helpful if they're fighting towards rubble because it forces them to overextend really wide. But if they're holding it really passively, it might not be the best smoke. So pick and choose when you use this one. Party's one more broken. I don't go B. Go B, go B, go B, go B. 
So we ended up pivoting towards B beautifully. I smoked Kevin for these guys and I just stuck in this little corner, making sure I'm looking to the left so I don't see my gun while just periodically just re-smoking for them. I don't really do much this half, I'm gonna be completely honest, but I do toss smokes and I do a damn good job at it. For the next round, we're going out A and I get absolutely dunked. But this is the type of game where I could rely on my teammates fully. I just got no range now, so I'm running in. You just wanna just smash it here? We'll see, see, see. Contact it. Contact it this way. So by the sign of it, they're fighting the A side pretty hard. Usually when people fight towards A, they usually have like three people there. So I get my boys to try to speed up towards C because it should be weaker right now. So we're in a 5v3 here, so all we gotta do is just kind of just stack on top of each other, trade properly, and this should be a free and easy round. Yeah, right. So my teammates want to hit C again and I don't mind. I just want to make their lives easier so I follow them and smoke for them. After I finish tossing smokes, as I'm running in, I try to vulnerable high traffic areas and I catch a cypher because I saw him towards this little pillar area. I try to chase him down because he should be submissive and breedable at this time, but this is a terrible play on my part and I completely sold. It's all good though because for the second half, my teammates are all incredible. They end up dragging me across the finish line and I will happily take any sort of carry. Nice. Oh my So easy. It's so easy for us. No, no you, you won. won. Send me. Over there. No, no, yeah. Back up, back up, back up, back up. Back up. Dead. Wait, she res. Wait, just run, just run. I can. After getting match point, we end up having a long string of rounds that we ended up losing. The enemy team ended up making some really good adjustments, and we had some very unfortunate turns. Take a kill, guys. Rats on the bottom. Cypher 130. Cypher 130. Rats on the bottom. Oh, wait. What? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, unfortunate. This little heckin' Ray Satchel right here was the MVP of this round. If I don't get blasted at the very last second, I get the little rat off bomb and I clutch up 100%. Alright. Okay, we go see this round. We go. We do the same thing we were doing. So now we've fucking defaulted. We've done a little bit of everything. Let the gecko ultimate lead. I'm gonna okay, go Ben. Right we contact until the gecko. Oh, they might oh, be. They might be fighting. Really. And they're just waiting. We just wait. 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 wait, wait. wait. Yeah. yeah. Kind of... I'm gonna get up close. So. Sure, Lily. Okay, they're playing. Why don't we like the? We should be. Are we taking now? Dizzy's up top. Right, right. I had a feeling, bro. But yeah. I couldn't clear that. That's a spike. Like, Dropping smoke. Oh, no, no, homie. Reloading. Grenade. I'm on it. One more for it. Playing on site with my ult. They have their ult too. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One third, one third. I'm in, I'm in. Thrash, thrash, thrash. 